What's up guys, David Moss Jr. here in beautiful sunny Miami, Florida with the Polar Monkeys team and I'm here to bring to you for the first time ever the brand new Polar Monkeys Cyber Plunge. And yes, you're looking at this correctly. This is the Cyber Plunge and it is 100% stainless steel with a custom beautiful cover. When you take a look at this thing, not only is it solid and fully insulated, this is the largest of the Polar Monkeys lineup with an all new chiller that's more efficient and it's able to get your water even colder. We're gonna dive into all the details of the Cyber Plunge. Let's jump right in. After today's video, I went ahead and popped a link down in the description below to my friends Buy Optimizers. I figured if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in health and wellness and you more than likely prioritize recovery, just like me. And because of what I do, I get exposed to a ton of different supplements and a lot of them are quite frankly junk. Buy Optimizers is my supplement of choice and they have a lot of different supplements to choose from, but I do wanna go ahead and tell you about my recommendations if you're looking for a good night's sleep and recovery. And that is their Magnesium Breakthrough and their Sleep Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Now I take this at night and it has been absolutely a game changer for my sleep and absolutely a game changer for my recovery. I sleep on the eight sleep mattress pod so I always get to track my biometrics and I've noticed that my HRV has started to increase, my deep sleep has started to increase and my REM sleep has started to increase. I'm waking up feeling more restful and I'm feeling like I'm actually recovering better. All that to say, just check out that link down in the description below. Check out Buy Optimizers. I do not think you'll be disappointed. Plus I have a discount code that you can use and that is DMOSS Jr. I'll have that all link down in the description below. So check that out after the video. But now let's get back to the cyber plunge. So before we jump into the actual plunge, I do want to talk about Polar Monkey's lids. I get a lot of questions in the comments of my videos asking about their lids because these are custom made for each and every one of their plunges. A couple of things that I really like about them is they're tapered downwards. So if you do leave your plunge outside and it rains, rain's not going to pull on top of this lid. It's actually going to shoot off the sides. I also love that the skirt is extra long and there's Velcro here. That is great if you have kids or any debris that floats around the area where your plunge is gonna be. It's gonna keep kids from easily being able to access and jump into the plunge. It's also gonna keep all the debris and junk out as well. Once you take the Velcro off and you open this lid up, it's a nice tight fit. And we can take this thing off, set it off to the side and really get a good look at the all new Cyber Plunge. Now let's talk about the actual tub itself. So it is 100% stainless steel and it's absolutely beautiful. When I first saw this thing, I was like, wow, that is a sharp looking plunge. It's also, like I've mentioned, the largest of the Polar Monkeys cold plunge, arsenal of cold plunges. So you're gonna have a lot of volume. There's over 150 gallons of water capabilities in this plunge, which is awesome. But what's crazy about that is it has a three quarter horsepower chiller that's super efficient and it's able to chill your water down to 37 degrees. Now, a couple of the things that I like to talk about because I'm somebody who likes to move my plunges around is what is the dry weight of this? Being a solid stainless steel tub, it's gonna weigh somewhere around 180 pounds. So you are gonna wanna make sure you have two people when you are moving this plunge. You do not want to drag this across the floor. With it being stainless steel, it looks beautiful. We wanna make sure we keep it that way. Now, on the back side of the plunge is where all of your connection ports and your drain's gonna be so that you can connect this to your chiller. The drain is also extremely easy to take a hose and divert that water anywhere you'd want to when it comes time to change your water out. But because of the great filtration system built in, this is going to keep your water cold and clean. Now let's take a look at the beautiful stainless steel chiller. So this chiller is capable of reaching temperatures of 37 degrees. It is a very easy to operate chiller as well and it's extremely efficient. This will only pull 3.9 amps during its use. And the setup is super easy. You have a power button, a setting button, and an up and down arrow, keeping it super simple, making it extremely easy for you to operate so you can just focus on getting cold. Well, now let's talk measurements. Let's talk about the actual footprint that this is gonna need for you when you do purchase one of these. I like to talk about the external dimensions and the internal dimensions so you know how much space you need on your back patio or wherever you're gonna be putting this and then how much room you're gonna have inside when you get in. So let's talk about from end to end, Length, we're looking at 67 inches long end to end. And width, we are looking just under 30 inches. So that's a very wide, very large plunge, which is great. I do also wanna talk about the height. For the plunge itself is 23 inches off the ground. Now, on the back side over here where your ports are, you're gonna to wanna to leave about 10 inches so you have access to your pipes and your tubes and your drain for when you do want to access these. So I'd like to leave 10 additional inches. So just to remeasure, 
you're gonna want 40 inches off whichever wall you're gonna have your cyber plunge against. So that's the external dimensions. Let's go ahead and talk about the internal dimensions. So lengthwise, we've got a lot of insulation in this. We're talking 64 inches long, which is a very large plunge. We're also talking 27 inches wide where your shoulders are gonna go. Now let's look at the depth. From the bottom to the top is 20 inches. So there's a lot of volume in here. And one of the things I also really like about it is instead of having the slanted walls, which cuts into your water and actually cuts into your room, these walls all go straight down. So there's a lot of room in here. I keep bringing that up because I have a large family. Me, my wife, and my kids, we cold plunge on a regular basis. And it is nice to have extra room so we can all get in and suffer together. So now the fun part, let's go ahead and jump in. So currently I'm six foot one, 200 pounds, just under 200 pounds. And I'm gonna jump into this plunge so you can demo and see exactly how much room there's gonna be if you are around my size. All right, so the water's really cold. I love this part, getting to get cold and talk through it at the same time. So there's a lot of room. It's extremely wide and having the vertical walls, whoo, oh man. Wow, there's so much room in here, so much room. So a couple things to note that a lot of people when they cold plunge like to keep their arms out of the water. It's real important when you're trying to maximize the benefits to just get that water all the way to your collarbone. Listen, it's gonna suck whether you put your toe in, put your face in, or put your entire body in. You might as well get all the benefits. Oh man, so first impressions are there is a lot of room in here and it's extremely comfortable. I'm gonna take my hat off just to try to see how it would be if I was just to chill in here kind of expecting the edges to be a little sharp and they're not at all. It's actually really nice with the rounded edges. It's really comfortable on my neck, way more comfortable than I thought. And if you're an avid cold plunge pro, you're probably gonna wanna see what a full head dunk looks like. So I'm gonna do that for you as well. Oh yeah, super easy to get fully underwater. This is a very roomy, very comfortable and very elegant plunge. I will say that just sitting in stainless steel feels different than anything else. Just feels classy. Just feels really, really nice. Oh man, great job. Polar monkeys, great job on this one. Wow, so I'll say my first impressions of getting into the Cyber Plunge are epic. It's really a beautiful, extremely comfortable plunge and I'm real excited to have been able to jump in this thing and been able to test it out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content like this. I think it's amazing. You probably think it sucks, but I liked it. And I want you guys to know something truthfully. I appreciate you for watching and being a part of this journey with me. If you have any questions, post them down below, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, guys. God bless.